Welcome everybody and good afternoon. My name is Nigel Walker from Farmers Almanac and I'm here in beautiful Philadelphia at Independence Mall. I'm sitting with John McInerney from SBI Farmer, General Manager of Excipients and Drug Delivery Systems. Welcome John. Thank you Nigel and thanks for picking such a beautiful spot. Today we're going to be talking about a number of different subjects but first of all, we're going to take off our masks. How new compounds actually start is all about R&D. R&D is a foundation of SPI. And let's get an understanding of what's going on with R&D at SPI. Tell me, John. Well, Nigel, uh, new product development is one of the most exciting areas for me. I really think of it as looking into that crystal ball at all of the potential futures that are in front of us. Pharmaverse is a great example of that innovative, disruptive technology that we've, uh, that we've developed. In that case, think about it. We developed a simple blended product that customers can take their API, dry blend, and make tablets. Now, there's plenty of people out there today that are doing that, but we were the first people to market with that. Uh, and that really speaks to our innovation. As we look forward, there's quite a number of new products that we have in our pipeline. This spring, we expect to relaunch our active mass product. And what we're doing this time is we are incorporating multiple sources of the ibuprofen so that our customers have that security of supply. Behind that, we have a, a really exciting new Flash platform. Now, there's, there are Flash platforms out there on the market, but what our Flash platform will bring is disintegration times of between five and 10 seconds. And with that, we're adding the part that many of the other products don't have, which is a very hard tablet, so that you get both the disintegration time and the hard tablet so that you can take your API and very quickly turn it into an ODT or a sublingual or even a swallow tablet for that matter. Behind that, we have some additional exciting products. We're working on two different bio-enhanced platforms which will address the problem that many people see with your typical class two and class four drugs that have very low solubility. And that's a problem that has been around for quite some time and makes it a challenge for anyone that's trying to convert those drugs into an oral solid dosage format. Patient-centric medicine, different delivery techniques, ease of oral delivery are subjects that have been very challenging for the market over the last few years. Tell me a little bit more about where SPI is working on patient-centric medicine. That's a great question, and I think the first thing is to talk a little bit about patient centricity. So what does that really mean? And when we talk about patient centricity, we talk about the holistic approach to medicine. Ultimately, the efficacy of any drug is dependent on many factors, including adherence to the regime. It helps when you put them into a dosage format that is easy to take. SPI can work with companies early on in the process to help develop those patient-centric or what we like to call as patient-preferred dosage formats. And we see this as an opportunity for the drug makers to come out with new formats that are friendlier to the patient and therefore most likely to be taken and have a, a very positive outcome. Across the majority of the pharma space today, we're dealing with the topic of cost. Price reductions, making drugs cheaper, and a lower cost, obviously, to the patient. SBI Pharma has always been a responsible organization. So tell me what SBI is doing to contribute to price reduction, still balancing innovation, and the introduction of new excipients and new delivery mechanisms for the client. Certainly. Well, let me start by saying is that there is no doubt that across the globe, people are paying more for medicine. But it's not just because medicines are getting more expensive. 
Remember, the pharmaceutical industry in some ways has created its own problem, and it's a good problem. We've been able to solve many of the issues that people face every day. We're extending life, and we're making life better. And because of that, people are paying more for medicines. Now, with that said, everyone is, is very focused on reducing costs. In fact, that's where SPI can provide certain benefits. I've been in manufacturing now for 30 years. And in every industry, the idea of reducing cost is one of those key initiatives that you go through. And so there's almost a handbook. It starts with squeezing your supply chain. And as a manufacturer, you can get a, an initial savings by squeezing your supply chain. But the fact is, is that real cost savings comes through innovation. It comes through disruptive technology. And that's what we can bring to the market. Take, for instance, the new Precious Gems collection. We have two products in there that have this XL technology, which allows for faster tableting speed, higher API loading, and lower losses for things like friability. Now, just consider that. In fact, I would argue that our competitor could provide their material for free, and we still would show a greater overall cost reduction with our products. The other way to save money is be the first to market. So we have those platforms that can help customers very easily take their API, dry blend it with our product, and start creating tablets in a very short amount of time, reducing the cost of having to do all of that engineering themselves. As we look to the future of healthcare, and where the biologic space is moving. R&D and biologics are now two words that are combining. New biological entities are being filed now at a more rapid pace than new chemical entities, which means that the delivery of the biologic is very important. With all the changes that have come with new chemical entities, I see the same changes coming with biological entities. So tell me how SPI is dealing with these challenges between chemistry and biology? Yeah, that's a great question, Nigel. Uh, first of all, as you mentioned, this is the, one of the really rapidly growing spaces. And the challenges with biologics, as you know, is that bioavailability. So some of the work that we are, are actually doing today addresses those bioavailability issues. And we're going to continue to stay in touch with and ahead of the curve with biologics as we also see them growing. I would fully expect that over the next five to 10 years, biologics becomes a significant portion of our overall portfolio. As we end today's interview with John McInerney from SBI Pharma, what a delightful place. Nearly 250 years old here in the heart of Philadelphia, Independence Hall. Thank you very much, John, for your time, and we look forward to the next one. Nigel, it's been my pleasure, and I am also looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you. you.